So my goal today was not to play the new Mundo. I'm just trying to kind of get back in the... Okay, my A key's not working. The reason why I picked Mundo is because they have a Evelyn jungle and a Silas mid. I feel like Mundo runs really well into those. I actually didn't kind of think about the fact that they changed Mundo. But I'm pretty sure, like, well, usually when they do... Okay, if you... When they do reworks, usually they don't change too much about a champ, so I'm not too worried about it. You know, this is in kind of freak elo. Um, it's unfortunate for this guy, because that's the first time he went aggro on me. So yeah, there's like some different stuff that's going on here. I'm not really quite sure myself, so it's hard for me to explain it. Swings his medical bag, next attack deals additional damage, swats him away, dealing damage to all enemies they pass through. So it's kind of like Scion E now. Since they have so much melee, like maybe E is better because they have three melee. Yeah, let's just max E and let's just, because we're going to push it through him. If we get last hits with that, then he can't really do much. This guy's so aggro. Dude, why are you so aggro? Like, he's got to be getting a gank or something, right? I'm just trying to look at my abilities in farm. Ah, uh, Silas did ignite me there. I feel like Evelyn flashed. I'm just going to ping her flash. I think the main thing with this lane is, like, once you get a Spectre's Cowl, the dude cannot do anything to you, and, like, the ganks... Well, Evelyn can cut magic damage. That's all you want a lot of health. She might even do like a percentage of your health or something. Wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. We got a knock here for sure. Just gonna blind it. Really strong against Evelyn and Silas. That's why I'm just going on those guys. This guy has Renekton ult though. I gotta be careful of that. Should have potted earlier, for sure. That's all right. Two for one, not bad. I don't know why other people are dying. Wait, Renekton died to Twitch roam, so they're bot roamed. Also to keep in mind with my build, I'm running magical footwear and I get boots at 9.45. So the idea is you wanted to survive till 9.45 and then you start being able to actually maneuver around the map. And if you get ganks, that's great. But as a Mundo, you can pretty much just safely farm. At least that was my mentality with the old one. You got a bit more AOE, I guess, with your E ability. It's kind of interesting. I really do feel like they should rework pretty much every champion a lot more often, and I don't think it'd be that hard. Like, you don't have to rework the animations, but when you have a company that's pulling in $26 billion a year, I don't think it's too much to ask to change the game up, like, pretty often, because it's a competitive strategy game where you're supposed to adapt. I don't think it's, like, a sport. Like, they want to make it a sport, but I don't think League's ever going to be a sport. There's no flash too, which is great. Do I have the like I have the jungler down here? It's it would actually be incredible if this if I don't get any help here. The jungler was down there, so the fact that their bot was able to collapse quicker was actually incredible. Like it just it's a monumental occurrence, basically. The guy cannot catch his axes for his But yeah, we got Merc Treads now. We didn't have boots that whole fight, I don't think. And they yeah, just demolished her. It's literally, we have a uh, demolisher. W works exactly. It's definitely not the same W. But hold on. I'm pretty sure Evelyn's here. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay, that was not what I was expecting. I like this. I like that play. He just one shot that guy, by the way. These guys are getting owned. When you're the Twitch here, like, this is where you give up, honestly. Like, I get you're trying this hard. So, I got all full support this game. So, I first picked Ezreal. They counter me with Triss Yumi, thinking that would be like a free lane. And then our Viger picked after them and picked Viger into Triss, which I think counters Triss because Viger can use his cage around Triss and she can't jump out of it. I did kind of want to run AP as well, by the way, but it looks like we have too much AP. So, I think I'm going to go full AD. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I hope they didn't see that. I meant to hit C and show up my character menu. How do you even hit D when you're trying to hit C? I don't know. I was about to say, with lethal tempo, you actually get a lot of... What is that cage, by the way? How would you start cage on Viger? I feel like since I started with no flash, he's trolling now. 
We're just gonna start with a cage. Like what? This guy's definitely new or something. Like this is hard to comp. He's not farming. You have a Doran's ring. You're not farming. What? <laughs> He's trolling, dude. He's gotta be trolling, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean to flash, bro. Why would you not try, though, at least? Like, that's what I don't get. Why would you start the game knowing that you're going to lose without even giving it a chance? The Viger is so good in a Triss. Like, I was so confident that we win this. And so now it's like, ugh, I got to lose in Freak Elo, dude. Like, I just don't understand the mentality. Like we have a good top lane versus their Mundo. Jarvan to Yi seems okay. We'll always get kills when we get ganks, like 100%. We're not gonna start the game just winning, but. Okay, well I'm farming, I guess now. It's too bad I didn't know that because I would've started Duran's Blade. And he queued the thing actually. It's a good job on that. He walks into the, whatchamacallit though. Doesn't care about farming at all. <laughs> okay. I think maybe as soon as he saw me blow my flash, but it's like, I don't actually need flash, dude. See, this is why I don't understand. You trolled him by what did I do to troll him? Like I picked a first pick Ezreal ADC. They countered me with some dumb crap and he picked Viger, which this should have been a free lane for us. Like he could have picked Blitz too. Blitz would have owned. It was up to him to pick anything into their bot lane. And these idiots, they're blaming me for this. That's like, they're going to report me for this. The fact that you can report anyone for anything is like actually mind boggling unless they're physically cheating but I'm not farming because you picked Blake, ADC, so I'm support. You, you started Doran's ring, dude. What are you talking about? I'm the biggest troll. Everyone's saying I'm the biggest troll, dude. You guys are playing really over-aggressive and Jarvan is about to get killed, actually. This guy can't do anything, dude. I swear, if he caged after the Jarvan dies, I, I can't do it, man. This is bad, so the creeps are gonna dive. Wait. This is good. Holy Jesus! Got the kill. Can I not E? Oh my god. These guys act like this is like LCS and like there was nothing they could do. We're playing against perfect players. His last game was against bronze players. There's nothing he could do. And then you got this guy. First day back since 2020. I should have stayed away. So when a rider sees this, it's going to be a pity party. Like, dude, he made me quit the game. Please ban him. <laughs> and then I'll probably honestly get banned because these five-year-old tactics, like they're actually successful. Okay, the thing is, right? knows their player base now is like on average like five years old it doesn't have to be that way like it never had to go that way and it's like they they wanted to hit that fortnite audience with a strategy game but it's like little kids don't like to strategize that's a problem i think they made a big mistake by trying to appeal to these very young people that uh throw the pity parties okay i see i hit the ff vote so they're not gonna do it <laughs> i almost guarantee one of these idiots gonna hit no baby hippo 158 he's gonna hit he's gonna hit no dude he's still playing he's the only one still playing he's gonna hit no <laughs> like clockwork they're so predictable. He needs to punish his teammates. He had to consciously hit no for it to show up as him hitting no. You're playing with people that have no concept of time management because they're very young. So I'm not really sure how these matchups are gonna go. Mainly in like the mid game, Silas is gonna be able to steal Malphite ult. I think that's why he picked Silas, but I don't feel like that's really good enough reason to pick Silas, unless you're laning the Malphite. Some of my keys are still messed up, which is like mind boggling to me. I don't know how this is even possible. Walk back into that. I don't know if he dies there. Might have been a throw. He actually hit that cleaver. I think it healed him. Okay, he dies anyways. I don't have flash as a thing here. This guy's trying to push us in the tower like desperately. Okay, that blocks my ability. This guy knows that he has to... You can push if you want him. That's gonna even yield him anything really. Okay, like see that was good. I think he already ulted. Oh my god. Please die. Okay. That was played so awfully. I didn't even know what the champ was that was charging me. It was freaking <laughs> Predator TF. This guy wants to duel. Oh, we got a TF here. Okay. 
I can't even see what the freaking... What is Daryl doing here? Oh, if I got my ult off, that would've been really good for the guy. Although, I didn't have my 5 stack. They are trying so hard though. Nothing's impossible until it's impossible. That's a terrible mentality to have. The reason being is because... We're going for it. So for some reason, like my ults, like not smart casting or something's going on. Like, I don't know what it is exactly. Dude, my ult's not working. Like, it went on cooldown, I think. We're gonna do this. He just, he knows, man. Just got his ult. I didn't play that right at all. You just call me BB girl, that's harassment. I don't know if he knows, but there's kids that play this game. It's pretty much the only people that play this game. So a nice little stone play Darius. You can win. Don't worry guys. The stone play, you guys just gotta break through the stair axe. They have some 10 IQ picks on their team, mainly the Teemo pick. So they had two AP showing, and then I picked Mundo, and then he picks Teemo into Mundo. Like, Mundo is what I would pick into Teemo. Saving grace for that pick would have been if his team was like a full AD lineup, which they're full AP, like squishy AP. I just popped a pot. I feel like I might scare him, but I don't know. Oh crap, I missed my thing. Just getting ravaged though. What? I'm trying to coach this Silas through it. I feel like an ATC trying to coach a plane through like some type of hiccup. You don't need assistance. I'm glad that Rexai is not getting bullied by that. Okay, hit that for sure. Yeah. Like hopefully he can see that we're killing top. I ping my jungler, I need help. Why is he not here? Why is he not coming? My jungler needs to be there. He's my jungler. I think we might be able to turn this, maybe. I'm surprised they... played that so scared. Like, it's like they knew I was, like, that strong. Which, I don't know why they knew that. That's good, though. Well, Rumble's actually not worth gold, it's the Vlad that's worth gold. The Vlad's playing very safe. The dude knows how to carry. The problem is he's against a freaking Mundo. Oh man. I think I kill this. It's gonna be sketchy though, I'm not equipped to fight these guys. Nice. If I hit him, then I get health back. I don't think I want to autumn. Like, I don't kill him, I don't think, is the thing. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I see. That was good. He corralled me towards the rumble, even though I was going to run that way anyways, because I wasn't thinking rumble would be there. I think I just beeline down there and just let Teemo free farm. It's a big drag, because it's bronze drag. Gives us magic resist and stuff. And I feel like they might get baited. Yeah, they're fighting. It's a three kills right here for uh, some farm at top. Vlad's not paying attention. This is really good. This is really good. I think he's dead. He has no idea what's going on. This is a like shutdown on Vlad. Oh man, he's freaking... This guy's so good. Really? It was a Thresh? I mean, whatever. He's gonna get Knight's Vow and stuff. That was so much gold for a Thresh though. I think he's got like 800 gold. Teammate, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? I can dive him now, too. He stays here. Why am I taking tower? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> okay. I hit the tower. Oh, my bomby cinder. I forgot I had that. I usually don't go that against Teemo, but it's just such a snowball-y game that I can just get this to help me push. When I say 5 minute Herald, I more like mean 4 minute Herald, but... Really? That's what you're gonna eat? I'm just gonna ult that or flash that because there's I'm not gonna back. Like I'm not backing off of that. Like the only reason why I flashed even was because we're about to fight Harold and I'm not trying to get chunked out. 
I wonder if I can predict where Teemo is going. It's going to be in one of these bushes. Hey, he's right there. Yep. Oh, you are not sneaky. Not many places he could have gone. If he would have gone to either this bush or this one, and then I had to choose. And then he could have ran that way or down. I love these games. They're just... It's like a mental institution. No, why is this so funny? It's sick. Report Vlad no matter what. Says that Timo just grief. The Vlad was trying so hard. Timo griefed so hard with his pick, dude. That was such a bad pick. You shouldn't do that. It's really weird. As I first pick Mundo because he's hovering Mundo and I don't want to show my top lead. And this guy eliminates like 90% of the tops I can play because he first picks Yasuo. Do you have Mundo? It's another good Mundo game. It's a 450 IP champion. It's one of the champions that you definitely would buy. Oh my god, he has Mundo. It's like it wasn't that big of a deal and I would have dodged anyways. It's like that game earlier where like they don't even give it a chance, you know? Like I even said I would dodge. So apparently Yasuo and the Nunu are duo smurfing and they only play Yasuo and the Nunu. I don't understand why it's such a big deal that we showed the Nunu when it's like I don't want to show another solo when we're showing a Yasuo. This guy's dumping on me on farm I will say. Absolutely annihilating me. I'm getting unlucky with this farm this game I will say. Like there's actually been a few situations where it's just been pure unluckiness. This guy's having nice. I'm not worried about the dive. Yeah I'm getting dumped on in farm. This is rough. It's gonna change like once I uh get a few items, but this is brutal. I'm getting beat by 10. He doesn't die. Oh my god. Like he doesn't die to me. Oh man. I can block his whatchamacallit. Block is stunned, but it's not gonna matter. So Mudo, I don't think has the built-in magic resist passive, so he's not actually that good against magic lineups anymore, I guess. What's this guy doing? I feel like I kill him here. Yeah, I feel like he knows it too. Hmm. Take him for sure. Nice. That was really good. I finally got a gank. Rek'Sai gank top twice. Rek'Sai is freaking fed, by the way. So I'm gonna need an armor, like stat, and I'm just gonna die to him. There goes my ult, probably. He got blue. That's tragic. I can't even farm this. I don't think this champion, man. I can't, dude. He's just too beastly. I can't. Like, when he has blue, it's over. I think I kill him here. That was doing work, but he's getting a lot of help from his jungler. Like, pretty sure his jungler is getting blue. Can't move, dude. He needs to die. Nice. <laughs> and all right so that's five games i went 4-1 on this fresh account the only game i lost was the ezreal game i do think league has its merits like you can actually make a career from playing league there's not many games you can say that about that being said league's just something i want to do every once in a while when i'm feeling it and i got a lot of other video ideas coming in soon so yeah thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one